on the brighter part of the night uh, for you tonight, Garrett Cole's performance. Yeah, dominant. <clears throat> I thought once he got settled in there, um, he was dominant. You know, great slider. Um, I thought he real. You know, early on there, you know, second third inning, uh, he found his slider and and he was really executing with that. Had a great fastball going again, but that fastball slider combination was was pretty deadly tonight. Um, and I thought once he got settled in after those first couple innings where he's finding his way a little bit, it was it was pretty dominant. Christy and Dave. I know it's uncharacteristic of Clay, but he struggled in his last outing too. Is there any concern about usage or fatigue with him? Uh, I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I would quibble with he struggled in his last outing. Um, you know, he walked Bogarts and put a ball on the ground and then one, two, three in the ninth. So, um, you know, I think this is an outlier. Um, would certainly pay attention to it, but um, I don't think it was anything more than him just being out of whack tonight. Dave. Yeah, just on those lines, Aaron, it's so unusual for him not to be around the strike zone. Yeah. When you're seeing him walk those guys and then you see him hit someone, yeah. I mean, you have to, how, like, how, how soon do you have to figure, like, it, it's not coming back? Or, I mean, did you think it just, I mean, you did get to the point where it wasn't coming back. But yeah. Even yeah. before then, were you kind of. Yeah, I mean, you know, still holding out hope there with, with Farmer from the right side. Again, one pitch away from my no putting you on the ground. So that's what you're counting on. Um, he was around the zone enough in there and and he'll come in even when he's you know his dominant self and you know he'll leave one up and in or something where he's kind of fine to dial it in usually he just dials it in tonight he just he didn't quite do that obviously